Okay, part three, we're gonna to try to get her done on part three. So using this formula, nice when they give you the formula, this formula applies to any investing problem where there's continuous interest being compounded. So this is your initial investment. Remember, E is 2.71, so that's like a constant. That's your interest rate, and that's the time you're gonna let that sit. And this is the amount that your investment's worth after a certain amount of time. So let's read this. How many years will it take, so they're saying find T, to quadruple your money? Now here's something interesting. They don't tell us how much we invest. So you have to be a little creative. You could put 10,000 in here and then 40,000. You could put 100 and then you'd have 400. I'm just gonna keep it easy and keep it four, like I invested one dollar, because the ratio is the same times E, interest rate is 7%, which is 0 0.07 T. Now this, I'm gonna flip it around, because my brain likes it that way, and I've got myself this math problem. That's what it boils down to. So, what do you gotta do? Well, you gotta slap a natural log on there, slap a natural log on there. And remember, the natural log of E is one, but this comes down in front of it, so it's 0 0.07t equals natural log of 4 is 1.38. So if I divide this by 0 0.07, sorry you guys, I'm making you look crooked there. <clears throat> 0 0.07, and I get 19.8, 19.8 years, which... After 19.8 years, you'd be glad you did it. All right, the deer population in Michigan doubles. As soon as you see that, you know that this space right here is a two. Every year, so we're talking, um, this is in terms of years. If the initial population is two million, which is this, so two million, am I still on that page? Yes. Um, <clears throat> what, what will the population be in 10 years? So I'm going to put a 10 right there. And this one does not require any logs. You just need to know how to use your calculator. So 2 to the 10th power is 1,024 times 2 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What the heck is that number? So 1, 2, 3. Uh, two billion forty-eight million deer. Uh, that's a ridiculous math problem, but uh, deer hunters would be thrilled. But uh, the deer population in Michigan is two million. I did look that up, but this is uh, obviously the deer population doesn't double every year. Okay, number seventeen. Sketch the graph without calculator or decimal. So here we go. This is a zero. This is, four is a zero. Negative three is a zero. Now, <clears throat> if I've concentrated on x, x squared, or excuse me, x squared, x squared, and x squared with no negatives, that'd be x to the sixth power, which if this is an even number and this is also positive, it's the extremities are going to go like this. So I know it goes like this, and I know it goes like this. So now I also know this is a 2, that's a 2, that's a 2, which tells me that's even multiplicity, which means it bounces off those zeros. So I know this is going to go up somewhere and down, and then up, and then down. So how do we figure out where these peaks are, or these local maximum values, we have to plug in the halfway value. So if this is negative 3 to here, this is going to be negative. We have to say, hey, wh what does y do when x is negative 1.5? And so negative 1.5 squared is 2.25. Negative 1.5 minus 4 is negative... 5.5, I don't know what that is, we'll figure that out in a minute. Negative 1.5 plus 3 is 1.5, squared is 2.25. So I need to take this and 
5.5 times itself times 2.25 times 2.25 and I can see it's going to be 2.25 so that was pretty close actually 2.25 would be right about there so it goes up and it comes back down this is a little easier because this is 0 and 4 the halfway point would be 2 so we got to let x equal 2 and plug stuff in we should be able to do this in our head 2 squared is 4 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared is another 4 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 squared is 25. So that is 100 times 4 or 400. Obviously we're not going to get that on our screen so that's going to go way up here and then come back down. And you can check it with decimals but um, we're not going to worry about that. Number 18. <clears throat> so I look at this and I want to clean this up. You can divide by negative 6. I'm going to flip it around. And then I'm going to reduce this to 3 halves. All right, what are we trying to do? We're trying to solve. Solve for what? X. Well, there's an invisible E there. Again, that's not a variable. That's a number. Now we're going to twist this thing into an exponential equation equals X minus 2. Now I'm just going to add 2 and add 2. And as strange as it is, x equals e to the 3 halves power plus 2. If you wanted to, you could type that in your calculator. 2.71 to the 3 halves power. Get a decimal. Add it to 2. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. Okay, so that finishes your review. So good luck. See me if you have any questions. And uh, talk to you soon. Okay, if you like this video, like or just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.